Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to Portal Knights. This is a game that a lot of you have actually asked me to play, and I played it a little bit, and I really enjoyed it. So, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna customize my character a little bit. Nothing good, not gonna do anything too crazy. Um, I think... Honestly, I think that's pretty much... That's good. I'm good with that. Uh, and we'll just name our character Wells Knight. We're gonna be a ranger so that we have a nice ranged attack. I played the game a little bit. Uh, we'll create a new world, and there we go. Uh, I played the game a little bit before I started recording it, just so I could kind of get a feel for the controls and that kind of stuff. But here we go. In the forgotten days, the world was peaceful and whole, but the fracture arrived and tore the realm apart. Ba 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 bum Bad things happened. Now the only connection between disparate lands are the ancient portals, and they are guarded by covetous fiends who thrive in the darkness. So there are nasty things that guard the portals. The world awaits heroes who will restore light to the portals and reunite the peaceful realm. Very cool. So that's kind of a little backstory if you can call it a backstory. Um, essentially, there are different stages, and uh, as you kind of progress through the game, you'll unlock new stages, new resources, and things like that. This game is kind of a mishmash of a lot of other games. I like it, it there's kind of like a Zelda vibe to it, there's kind of a Minecrafty vibe to it. Um, it's got definitely, it definitely has like RPG elements. Um, like it, it reminds me in a lot of ways of quite a lot of my favorite games. So we're gonna start off, uh, there, this first stage is kind of like a tutorial. Uh, so it'll tell us like, open the backpack. So we hit B and that gives us our inventory and we can, you know, kind of drag this stuff out and whatever. Um, middle mouse button, we'll switch back and forth between first person and third person mode. If we want to uh, lock on to an enemy, we gotta find an enemy first. Um, an anemone? Is there an anemone around here somewhere? And there's one. Parrot. We'll kill the parrot. There we go. And then we can hit space to dodge like so. And finish him off. There we go. Got it. Ooh, and we got an egg. I have no idea what the egg is used for. But then there are different quests. Uh, you can also break things with your fists. So, like, we've got cotton here. We can break this stuff, and that will give us, uh, looks like seeds and berries. Um, we'll get some cotton. We'll probably want some wood as well. Let's go ahead and chop down the tree, get a little bit of that going. We've got some more stuff there. Oh, am I? Oh. I may have, uh, I may have trapped myself down here. That's okay, though. Let's switch into third-person mode, or, or first-person mode, and then we should be able to break that block so we can get out uh, without too much difficulty. Now, there's a few things we're going to need. We're going to need some stone. So let's break that with our fists, because you can totally break stone with your fists. Totally makes sense. I mean, I'm breaking it with a log right now, but still, you get the idea. Let's get, like, five stone blocks. Maybe a little more than that. Maybe we'll get, uh... How many is that? That's seven? Let's get ourselves up to, like, ten. And I want to get the cotton as well, because I think you can use it to make armor, if I remember correctly. When I played it, when I was kind of playtesting the game... Uh, you know, because I basically pretty much all the games on my channel that I uh, that I end up playing on the channel itself, I do kind of do a little personal private play test of them first, just to make sure that they're suitable for the channel and that uh, you know I'm gonna have fun with them and all that kind of stuff. So when I was play testing it, that was actually two nights ago, I think, um, and I hadn't really decided for sure if this was something I wanted to do. Um, so I'm a little foggy on some of the stuff, but I, I've got the basic concept of it. So let's go ahead and, ooh, no, uh, switch with tab. There we go. Ow. I'm still really bad at the combat. Like, I'm, it's not something I'm good at yet. I have a lot of practicing that needs to be done. 
I just need to get used to using my dodge. I initially played with the knight class, or the warrior class, and I really didn't like the way that it played, um, because, like, the dodging didn't really do you any good, and it was very hard to time attacks properly, so, uh, we're gonna go with this. This is a little house over here, and I think there's some stuff... This will open up some quests for us. Yeah, so we got to repair the broken workbench and craft a scout tunic, okay? Well, I think we need more wood in order to be able to repair the workbench. There we go. Can I just hold this down? Yeah, I can just hold down click. I don't have to repeatedly click over and over again. Let's kill this green slime. There we go. Got him. And that one needs to die too. Oh, he got me. There we go. Okay. Um, and yeah, actually, I do want the cotton as well. There we go. Um, let's take a look and see how much wood we've got. We've got nine. Nine logs at the moment. We're going to need a little bit more than that. I think I need like... Um, let's just get... That's 12, 16. That should be plenty. Okay. So if we come in here, this is a workbench, and we can upgrade it using four of our logs. That'll make a super awesome workbench. And then we can use the workbench to make, like, a stone pick. We can make uh, a scout tunic, but we need to make cotton cloth first. So if we come over here to blocks and ingredients, you can see we can turn all of our cotton into this stuff. And then we can come back here and make a tunic. And then, while we're at it, let's make... Oh. Oh. Is it because this is in the way? There we go. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some gloves as well. And then, once we've done that, we can go ahead and equip this stuff. And it was the gloves, right? Yeah, there we go. So we got some new equipment, which is always a good thing. Um, I'm definitely going to need some more cotton than what I've got right now, though. Like, what we've got right now just isn't going to cut it. So let's just do some of this. We'll get all the cotton we can so I can... I want to make a full set of armor before I move on to the next world. There we go. And I suppose we can get some of this other stuff, too. What are these? Is that anything? No, doesn't look like it. Looks like that's just decoration. And then we've got all these blocks over here as well, which is like refined wood blocks that give me all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, there we go. Got them. And we can actually place those uh, right here. So if we go to three, we can place it here in... Oh, I missed that one. We can place it here in third-person mode, or, it might be a little bit easier to go into first person like this. And that completes another one of the quests. We should be able to make some more cotton cloth. There we go. And then I think, uh, we've, let's see, we've got the, what do we have? We have the tunic and the gloves? Yeah. So let's go ahead and make the cap. And the pants. There we go. We'll take those as well. And then let's go ahead and equip that stuff so that we have, you know, halfway decent armor. That's probably going to be important. Um, I also want to go ahead and place some of this stuff. Emerald tree. Interesting. I wonder if that actually grows emeralds. So if we go to our cotton seeds, we should be able to place these guys down just like this. And grow, hopefully, oh, that was misplaced. There we go. I just want to grow, oh, maybe I can't place it there. Oh, am I out of cotton seeds? I am. There we go. And I guess I'll place another one right there or something. And then we've got some trees we can plant over here. So let's just plant a couple of these down. We want to make sure that when, whenever we come back to this kind of initial starter area, we can replenish our resources. That's going to be relatively important. Um, 
kill these guys. Go away. And they'll drop some experience. They'll drop some other goodies for us. Okay. Now, what is that? What is that? That's new. I didn't see that when I played before. Is this a thing? Or is it just like a... Oh, hello. That's a secret of some sort. Electro Quartz Healing Potion Cotton Blue Stone Portal Shard. That's... I don't think I found that before. That's pretty awesome. Let's also go ahead and make this uh, stone pickaxe right here. And I'm just going to kind of arrange this stuff. Um, let's actually put dirt blocks down. And I'll just put it right here. There we go. So let's try out our pickaxe. Oh yeah, that mines stone way faster than by hand. I think by hand it takes like six hits. And this takes what, three? One, two, three. Yep, it takes three and then without it. It takes seven to do it by hand. So yeah, way faster. Whoa, don't want to shoot it. I want to hit it with the pick. There we go. Let's just get all this stone. Because stone is going to be something that we're going to need quite a lot of as we go along here. We're going to need more of it. There we go. That looks pretty good. And it's kind of dark and scary out here. Not going to lie. Now somewhere, there's like a little secret area thing. Um, hello, Cotton. You might come in handy. Uh, let's switch back to third-person mode. There we go. Somewhere there is... a secret, I thought. Is it up here, maybe? Yeah, 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 right here. Cool. And then we've got our blue portal down there, which we need to repair. Does this go up to anything? What's this say? Find high lookouts to get a better overview of the island. Okay. Well, that was the mine that we just broke. That's the house. That's the spawn platform. And then here's a little sneaky thing. Do we take fall damage in this? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, that thing needs to die, whatever it is. A venom magnet? That thing sounds horribly unpleasant. We, I think we got him. Are there any other nasty things that spawn? I heard something. But I don't see anything. Okay. Oh! That's pretty nasty. Kill it! There we go. Got it. Okay. So, let's open this up. What do we got in here? And then we want to dodge. Yep. See, this is why I wanted to go with the ranger, or a ranged class of some sort, because it gives me that ranged attack where I can dodge away and then shoot them in the face. Like, that just works really well. Let's go ahead and smash the chest. What did we get? More quartz, a blue portal stone, cotton, and, and more minor healing potions. So that's definitely good. All right, awesome. Now, as for getting out of here... What? Oh. That's just grass down there. We can't get out that way, but we could just break the stone brick. And that should do the trick for us. So now, I think it really just comes down to making a bunch of blue portal stones. We've got the map that shows us... Oh, there we go. Complete the remaining quests. So all of our quests are completed. And now basically all we need to do is fix the portal itself. And the portal itself was right... Ow, hey. Behave, you. Now I have to shoot you in the face. There we go. And might as well kill this guy too. There we go. Not a whole lot of experience gained from these guys, but every little bit counts. Let's see. So... Where was that portal at? It was around here somewhere. I saw it just a minute ago. I think it was over... Let's see, there was that. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Here it is. It's right here. Okay. So we just gotta repair the portal. And to do that, we take 
portal, uh, blue portal stone, which is basically portal blocks. And we just place those in here where they belong. And that opens up the portal forward. So there we go, guys. And I think that is going to do it for this episode of Portal Knights. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it's been, this is going to be a fun series, guys. I don't know how long we're going to carry it on. Um, but as long as I'm having fun and you guys are enjoying it, I'll keep playing it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.